j'ai le très grand plaisir de vous présenter l'une des plus prestigieuses petites formations de l'histoire du jazz. Et j'ai d'autant plus de plaisir à le faire que cette formation se produit pour la première fois ce soir en We Europe continentale. Welcome to the Jazz Liberator album, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know y'all been waiting for that, right? Mm-hmm. All over the world. Got the jazz up in it. Hearts, also known to you all as Slim Kid Trey. And the topic of today is uh, the influence of jazz. Now, jazz has come a long way. Back in the days, it was bebop, and now it's hip hop. Jazz was revolutionary, and hip hop is also revolutionary, unlike rap. Rap's not really getting the message across like our forefathers, like the Gil Scott Aarons. Yeah. 
paved the way to set the pace and set the tone. Like the last poets. All of these are great people, great minds, to do things, to carry the torch of our ancestors to let us know what's really, really going on around the world. Hip hop has definitely carried that torch in a positive way. Rap was a vehicle for stopping the violence, just as jazz was back in the days, back in the 60s, back in the 30s. Quincy Jones, McCoy Tyner, Grant Green, Wes Montgomery, Elton Jones, Miles Davis, Eric Gale, 